Welcome to Hoya Hospitality. Welcome to day six of Vlogmas. And today we are making chili in the crock pot per Michael's request. I've already prepped everything and I'm just gonna go through the list and then we'll start. The ingredients for today are diced tomatoes, two cans of diced tomatoes, one can of chili beans in chili sauce, one can of drained kidney beans, one can of tomato sauce, half of a can of, which is 12 ounces of nacho jalapeno peppers, four tablespoons of chili powder that gets divided between two bowls. So is the ground cumin and that is one tablespoon, one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then it's two onions, two medium sized onions, and one bell pepper and five cloves of garlic. And then I put the seasoning into the two pounds of ground meat and put it all together and mixed it already. And then I'm going to start uh, browning the meat for you right now. Okay, while Michael is browning the meat, I'm going to add all of the canned items to the crock pot. Okay, so we are gonna put the meat and bell pepper, onions and garlic into the crock pot. And then I already have it preheating in the crock pot. So we're going to finish this off. Now we're gonna leave it on high for four hours and we will check back with you guys. In four hours, it'll be around 1 a.m. So I'll have a after midnight post tonight. So, yes. Okay, so let me tell you guys. I have been looking for Christopher Radko Christmas ornaments since I heard about them. And I heard about them through the Kardashians because we all heard about them through the Kardashians. And I was like, I need them. Whatever, whoever has them, I need them. So I thought, okay, let's go to Target and like maybe they'll have them at Target. No, they don't have them at Target. They don't have them at most stores. They are a collector's item, I've realized. And I now understand why. And here is the story. So I was just browsing on Facebook market as I do on a regular basis because I enjoy the Facebook market and I come across, you know, because it's the holiday season and I come across this lady and she said, Christopher Radko ornaments. And I'm like, holy, is this, is this my coming? And of course I was like, uh, as you can see here, our Christmas tree, I haven't mentioned it because I, we haven't. There's really no need to mention this because you guys can see it on a regular basis. But our tree here has birds on it. And I saw on her collection that she was selling a robin. And I was like, it was meant to be. I have to have this robin. And so I went and got them. I went and got the robin and I messaged her and I was able to get it. As you can see here is the red Robin, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a Robin and not a Cardinal. It might be a Cardinal. I will check back. I should have done a little bit more research before I came on here. 
you can see here though that the tail is broken, which is kind of disappointing. Um, it wasn't when I saw it in the photo, but she did give it to me at a discounted rate. And then I was looking through the rest of the collection and I just was enamored because I really like these ornaments because they're glass blown and they're really special because they're different. There's, they, they make multiple of them. They're, it's not one of a kind or anything, but they're very few and the, mainly they're glass blown. So here is a um, suitcase or a luggage and it has just married on it. And some of you guys might know that Michael and I got married this year and I just thought that it would be a very cute Christmas ornament for our first year. And we've been able, very fortunately, been able to travel to a few places this year. And here is a star bear. I haven't decided if I want to take it out of this plastic because you can clearly tell that the plastic is like the original plastic from how tethered it is. I was kind of undecided on this one, but like it kind of won me over because like she is a Christmas tree with a little girl in front of the Christmas tree and there's all these ornaments that's at the bottom. It will get added to this Christmas tree here that's behind me. This is our personal Christmas tree that um, no one else really gets to see besides family members and friends. And then the lady was really enamored by the uh, this bear and I was also was very, I, I'm, I'm more interested in the smaller um, ornaments rather than the larger ornaments. And here is the um, butterfly, which I thought was really sweet. And it has a clip that I can just simply clip onto the Christmas tree. It has Christopher Ratko's um, tag still on it. I'm very excited about these and I'm excited to add it to my Christmas tree. I um, have been collecting the last year, year and a half um, Christmas tree ornaments and to add to my collection. I am saying that my collection is very small to say the very least. I think that uh, during our, one of the Vlogmas days, I'll go through and talk about all of the ornaments and how I came about them. I think that would be a fun thing to add, but I'm not sure yet. If I want to do that or not, but we will see. But these Christopher Radko Christmas ornaments are very sweet and I'm very excited to add them to my collection. <laughs>it was Cho Chang. If you guys, if I didn't go back to do that, I wanted to do that for you guys. And then for day six, which is right here, we will punch this one. And I think this is the Goblet of Fire. Can you punch time lapse? Try wizard cup with the blue flame. Two extra pieces. Day six of the 2020 Lego is morning myrtle. Morning myrtle. On a pedestal. I shouldn't say pedestal, I should say platform because she's on a platform. And I will put her in a smiley face because I like all of my characters to be in a smiley face. And her hair is very strange. It is very soft. I would say.
gummy. Here she is. And then we're going to do the cheese advent calendar and get Michael's opinion. He's currently making guacamole to go with our chili for dinner. Day six of the advent calendar is at the very top here. Ooh, it's a white cheese today. It is a white cheddar today for day six. Mm, this is really good. Ready? Opinions? Thoughts? I'm not a fan of this one. Oh, I guess I don't like white cheese. Mm. White cheddar. It's just white cheddar. Yeah, <clears throat> I prefer yellow. Rating? 3.3. Mm. 3.3 .3 is his rating for the cheddar. I think it's better than that. I will have you guys follow me along on a couple more things I have to do today. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I think I have to write thank you notes for sure. And we're back guys and we finished the chili and I just wanted to know how do you guys like your chili? I like mine with crackers and cheese on top of it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Vlogmas Day 6, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!